just want to show some cleave. <laughs> Tell me my boobs are pointy. <laughs> time she was going to hate my tattoos and want to cover them up. Ew, those wings are so ugly. Planning a wedding is undoubtedly an exciting and joyous time in a person's life. From choosing the perfect dress to selecting a breathtaking venue, brides invest immense time and effort into creating their dream wedding. However, amidst the chaos, handling criticism gracefully can be a challenge. In this wild ride of Tella, Tears, and Sass, we explore the latest episode of Say Yes to the Dress, our beloved guilty pleasure. So, all you fabulous fashionistas and reality TV junkies, buckle up. Before we delve into the captivating chaos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our bridal brigade. Trust me, every fabulous moment is worth experiencing. Wedding magazine publisher Allie won't be satisfied until she finds a dress unlike any other. Everybody has had that dress. So far, she hates every dress she's seen. Allie is facing a significant challenge in her search for a wedding dress that not only suits her body shape, but also reflects her personal style. Something. I hate blue. But it can be a different color. It's just not Allie's style. With a strong sense of self-confidence, Allie knows what she wants and what she doesn't like. Despite trying on numerous dresses, she finds flaws in each one, whether it's the style, fit, or unmet expectations. Finally, after many attempts, Allie discovers a stunning gown that impresses both her and her entourage. Unfortunately, the dress doesn't fit properly, which surprises everyone, including Allie. And she doesn't like it. I do like it, Mom. Stop. You're being annoying. I just have a problem playing with something that doesn't fit perfectly right now. This is gonna get perfect. I want it perfect now, because I make things perfect now. While Randy, an expert, believes it's the perfect dress for Allie. I think that this is Allie's dress, but she's not allowing herself to connect to it emotionally. And nothing I say is gonna change her feelings. And tries to persuade her to keep it. If you don't get this dress, will you regret it? Allie remains determined to find a dress that flatters her figure perfectly, accentuating her features and making her feel beautiful. Randy adds a veil to Allie's look, transforming her appearance and adding an emotional touch. Despite the chaos and uncertainty, Allie ultimately chooses to say yes to the gown. Yes. In the veil! Yeah! highlighting the importance of finding the ideal fit and remaining true to one's personal style. With her chosen wedding dress, Allie feels an overwhelming sense of confidence and beauty, comparable to any Hollywood celebrity. Her journey serves as a testament to the significance of finding the right fit and staying authentic, resulting in an unforgettable bridal look. Samantha and her mother have differing opinions on Samantha's tattooed back and her choice of wedding dress. I have a tattoo on my back she doesn't like. Ideally, we'd like to cover those wings. She wants to cover them, I don't. Samantha initially tries on a revealing dress by Rima Kra, which she loves, but her mother dislikes. Um, I feel very sexy in this. Yeah. <laughs> Your wings are showing. I said the whole time she was going to hate my tattoos and want to cover them up. Ew, those wings are so ugly. I don't like the back. Her mother suggests a ball gown by Ree Macra, which Samantha reluctantly tries on. I don't like ball gowns, but I think this dress is beautiful and I'm open to trying it because I've never tried a ball gown before. Despite the gown's transformative effect and the approval of some family members, Samantha feels it doesn't reflect her personal style. This dress is not me at all. It is... No, I don't want to say ugly because it's beautiful, but it's not me. After much consideration, Samantha decides to prioritize her own happiness and chooses a short dress with a tall skirt, which she had initially loved. I love it. It's very different. I don't think anybody would expect a short dress coming out. In the end, Samantha's mother supports her decision, recognizing the beauty of the dress and its reflection of Samantha's individuality. Oh, I love it. I like it. I love it. I love the tool. Makes it look like a long wedding gown. Take it off, it's your short wedding gown. I love that. I like the wings, I like the tool. I like the idea. Samantha is overjoyed, knowing she has found the perfect dress that embraces her uniqueness. In the chaotic world of wedding dress shopping, Allie and Samantha's journeys on Say Yes to the Dress have taught us valuable lessons. Allie's determination to find a dress that accentuates her beauty and aligns with her personal style reminds us of the importance of the perfect fit. Despite challenges, Allie says yes to a gown that makes her feel confident. Samantha's story showcases the significance 
significance of staying true to oneself and embracing individuality. We appreciate your support and invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting content like this. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to sharing more wedding inspiration with you in the future.